Hey everyone, it's James here and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a real treat in store for all you Linux enthusiasts out there, especially those of you running Kali Linux. So, um, you know how it can be kind of tricky to find that perfect video editor that really vibes with your system, right? Well, I've been diving deep into a world of open source magic and I think I've hit the jackpot. We're going to explore some of the best video editing software out there that's just like tailor-made for Kali Linux. And I'm talking about tools that are powerful, user-friendly, and most importantly, they won't give you that headache when you're just trying to chop up your clips or add some sick effects. And hey, just so you know, if any of the software I mentioned grabs your interest, you can find all the juicy links right down there in the description. Trust me, you're going to want to check them out. So um, grab your favorite beverage, get comfy, and let's jump into the world of video editing on Kali Linux. You ready? Let's get started. All right, let's talk about Adobe Premiere Pro for all you Kali Linux users out there who are looking for the best video editing software. Now, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, isn't Premiere Pro a bit of a pain to get running on Linux? And um, you're not wrong. Out of the box, Adobe doesn't officially support Linux, and that can be a bit tricky. But with workarounds like using Wine or Play on Linux, or um, even better, a virtual machine, you could actually get it up and running. So once you've jumped through those hoops, what does Premiere Pro offer? Well, it's kind of the industry standard for a reason. It's got a really robust feature set, right? You've got your multi-track editing, really precise color grading tools, and a bunch of effects, everything you need to create professional level videos. And um, the integration with other Adobe software like After Effects and Adobe Audition, that's a big plus if you're doing more complex projects. But I got to say, one thing about Premiere Pro that might trip you up is the learning curve. It's not the simplest out there. If you're new, you might be like, whoa, what's all this about? It can be pretty daunting at first glance with all its complex menus and options. But hey, once you get the hang of it, you'll appreciate the control it gives you over your edits. There's a ton of tutorials online, which is fantastic because um, you'll probably need them. Now, the big thing to remember with Premiere Pro on Kali Linux is performance can be, you know, a hit or a miss with it not being natively supported. You might run into some snags, uh, a little bit of lag, maybe some compatibility issues, depending on your setup. Overall, though, if you're willing to put in the effort to get it working, Premiere Pro is a powerhouse for video editing. Just, you know, be ready for that initial setup and learning phase, and you should be all set to create some super impressive videos. So um, next up, I want to talk to you guys about Phil Mora as a video editor for Kali Linux, okay? Now, Kali Linux users, um, you know that finding good software that's compatible with our system can be a bit of a hassle sometimes, right? So Phil Mora is actually a solid choice if you're looking for something that, that's uh, user-friendly and packed with features that can really give your video projects that extra polish. Now, um... The first thing I noticed when I used Filmora on Kali Linux is that it has a really intuitive interface, which is great for beginners and even for those who have been like editing videos for a while but don't want to deal with complex software. You've got a wide range of built-in titles, effects, and transitions, which makes it kind of a breeze to create professional-looking videos without too much effort. Um, another thing that stands out with Filmora is the performance. I mean, you might be thinking... Will it run smoothly on Kali Linux? And from my experience, it's pretty smooth as long as your system meets the requirements. You don't um, get that lag that you sometimes get with other video editors. So that's a big plus, especially when you're dealing with larger video files, you know. However, um, I'd like to point out that while Filmora is not like open source, like some other software available for Linux, which some users um, might prefer, it is still a powerful tool in your video editing arsenal. So yeah, if you're willing to invest in a reliable video editor for your Kali Linux system, Filmora is definitely worth considering, guys. Just give it a shot, and I think you'll be pretty impressed with the overall functionality and ease of use. So um, let's talk about Keaton Live, an open source video editor that's, you know, really fantastic for folks using Kali Linux or any other Linux distribution for that matter. One of the things I love about Keaton Live is that it's like totally free, right? And I don't mean just in terms of cost but also free as in freedom because it's developed by this amazing community of contributors and you can totally tweak it if you have the know-how. Now, diving into the features, Keaton Live packs a punch with things like multi-track editing, which is super useful for complex projects where you're juggling um, multiple video and audio files. It's got a pretty straightforward interface too, uh, considering how powerful it is. So, uh, you know, if you're coming from 
other nonlinear video editors, you should feel right at home. There might be a bit of a learning curve if you're a newbie, but hey, that's the case with any robust software, right? One thing I do have to mention is that Keaton Live is surprisingly robust when it comes to effects and transitions. You've got a bunch of options um, that can really give your video that professional edge. And oh, it renders pretty quickly too, as long as your hardware can handle what you're throwing at it. Kali Linux users often have decent setups, so I'm guessing that won't be a problem for most of you. The only real downside, and this is something I've experienced a couple of times, is that Keaton Live can be um, a bit boogie. You might run into the occasional crash, especially with uh, more complex projects or if you haven't updated to the latest version. Always keep your software updated, guys, really. So just make sure to save your work frequently. But overall, for free open source video editor on Kylie Linux, Keaton Live is, in my opinion, pretty much the best out there. And I definitely recommend giving it a try for your next video project. All right, let's talk about OpenShot, which um, if you're diving into the world of Kylie Linux and you're looking for a video editor, this might just be your best bet. So now, OpenShot is, a, is a, open shot is an open source video editor. Yeah, that's pretty neat because it means it's free and, you know, you've got all the, the, the freedom to tweak it to your needs if you're savvy with that sort of thing. So, um, first things first, the interface is pretty user friendly, especially if you're new to video editing. It's got this intuitive drag and drop interface that lets you, you know, just put in your clips, arrange them on the timeline, and you can really just start chopping and changing without much of a learning curve. Plus, it's got a bunch of neat built in effects and transitions. So you can add a professional touch to your videos without like, I don't know, having to invest in expensive plugins or anything like that. Now, performance wise, um, it's important to mention that Kali Linux isn't exactly built with video editing as its primary function, right? It's more for security professionals, ethical hackers and stuff like that. But OpenShot is surprisingly lightweight for what it offers. It doesn't require a ton of resources, which is great if you're not running super powerful hardware. But keep in mind, if you're going to work with, you know, high resolution footage or complex projects, it might get a bit laggy. That's something to consider depending on what you're planning to do. Lastly, updates and support since OpenShot is open source. Um, it's maintained by a community of developers. That means you get regular updates and bug fixes, which is awesome. But the flip side is that, like if you need help or run into uh, some weird bug, you might need to rely on community forums or user guides rather than like, you know, dedicated customer service. But hey, it's a small price to pay for a solid free editor that pretty much does everything you'd need for standard video editing tasks on Kali Linux. All right, let's dive into Luminar. Neo, which is honestly quite an exciting option for those of you running Kali Linux and looking for a solid photo editor. Now, you might be thinking, hey, isn't Luminar Neo more of a photo editor? And yeah, you're absolutely right. But here's the thing, the tools it offers are super impactful for video editors who want to create some stunning visual effects or need to tweak their thumbnails or stills to perfection. So um, one of the things I love about Lumina Nero is it's eye-driven editing capabilities. I mean, it almost feels like you have this smart assistant who just you know knows what you're going for. You wanna clear up a cloudy sky in your shot, bam, the AI Sky Enhancer does it with a slide and the skin enhancers, they're like heaven sent for anyone doing on-camera work no more spending hours trying to get that perfect look. Luminar Neo kind of just nails it for you. But okay, let's talk about performance, especially on Kylie Linux. Mm. Uh, you know how sometimes you get software that's just, it's a pain to run on Linux. Well, Luminar Neo isn't like that. It's pretty smooth, and I haven't come across any major issues. Uh, sure, installation can be a bit tricky. You might need to tinker around with Wine or set up a virtual machine, but once you get past that, it's smooth sailing. And considering the lack of options we sometimes face as Linux users, this is a breath of fresh air, guys. Lastly, look, I know it's not primarily a video editor, but as content creators, we need to get creative. Lumer Neo just, it opens up possibilities, you know? It's really about using the tools you have to bring your vision to life. And mm, given how Luminar Neo handles imagery, I genuinely think it can be a secret weapon in your video editing arsenal, even on Kali Linux. Just remember to not get caught up in the tools themselves. It's all about how they can help you tell your story. All right, folks, so that pretty much wraps it up for the best video editor for Kali Linux. Um, I hope you found this rundown helpful and it's gonna make your editing process a whole lot smoother. Just remember, 
You can find links to all the products we talked about today down in the description. So definitely check that out. If you've got any questions or um, if there's something you're wondering about that we didn't cover, go ahead and drop a comment below. I love hearing from you guys and I'm always happy to help out with whatever issues you might be having. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content like this. We've got a lot of cool uh, software reviews and tutorials on the channel that you're not going to want to miss. And uh, clicking that little bell icon will make sure you're notified every time a new video goes live. So go on and give that a tap as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And hey, keep on creating and exploring with Kali Linux. Catch you later.